JT Miller is one of the biggest names in NHL trade rumors right now. And while it's still yet to be determined if Vancouver actually wants to move the 28-year-old forward, there will certainly be numerous teams interested in acquiring him if they do decide to make a trade. Today, we're going to look at five of those possible destinations for JT Miller. Let's get started. Hey everybody, so if you haven't heard, JT Miller is one of the biggest names and best players involved in NHL trade talks right now. I think that's because he would be such an addition and such an asset to so many playoff teams as they gear up for playoff runs. He's really the kind of guy that could take a good team and make them great. And we don't know for sure if Vancouver is going to trade Miller or even interested in trading Miller because he's honestly one of their best players and been really, really good for them. He's a point-per-game guy in the prime of his career. still has next year on his contract. So there's no guarantee that Vancouver moves Miller at all. However, if they fall out of the playoff race in the Western Conference, drop down the standings, aren't able to keep up with you know some of the other teams out West, then I think Miller is a a guy that Vancouver could get a really big return for, and it would probably make a lot of sense to move him. So today we're going to talk about five potential destinations for JT Miller. These certainly are not the only five because, I mean, I think almost any playoff team would be interested in acquiring Miller uh, if he was put out there on the market. But these are five that I think make a lot of sense for various different reasons and could realistically get a deal done. And uh, we'll get into that here. These aren't any particular order. Uh, But we'll start number one, just going through with the New York Rangers, who is actually JT Miller's original NHL team. Uh, Started his career in New York, and it would really be kind of funny if he ended up back there. That would kind of come full circle. But uh, for the New York Rangers, this is a team that we know already is interested in JT Miller because Frank Saravelli has reported it. Uh, He's talked about how the Rangers are one of the teams right on the front lines of these trade talks and trade negotiations very very much interested in acquiring Miller and it does make a lot of sense in my opinion they are gearing up for a playoff run they're a young team coming out of a rebuild did not make the playoffs last year going to make it this year and they're gearing up to show that they are a true contender and could potentially even go deep into the playoffs and contend for a cup this season A veteran guy who plays a high-energy, hard-working style of game, which really fits the New York Rangers, you know, mantra this year, uh, would be a great addition to this team. And, you know, you look at Miller, who's been around the block, he's played over 70 career playoff games, would be a nice addition of experience in the Rangers lineup. And he also brings that hard-working mentality that the Rangers have really kind of honed in on is their identity this season and I think the fit really does make a lot of sense also he'd be a huge upgrade to their middle six their top six wherever they put him in the lineup whether it's at center whether it's at wing he's an upgrade no matter where he goes um, you know you can play him on the wing and then you know your your left wingers on in your top six are Artemi Panarin and JT Miller that would be incredible you could play him up the middle and have him be your second line center and then at that point um you know Ryan Strom either is involved in the trade and ends up in Vancouver or is dropped down to your third line center anyway like M- Miller is just a upgrade no matter where he goes in this Rangers lineup and he's going to make them a better team offensively That's one thing with the Rangers this year. They're winning a lot of games on the back of their goaltending and their defense, and they haven't been as high scoring as I think they can be if they really get going offensively. Miller would absolutely help them offensively. And finally, they have plenty of assets and cap space to work with. Um, You know, this is not going to be a cheap deal. If Miller does get traded, it's going to be an ex expensive price it's going to be a big package going back the other way the rangers can do that because they have a ton of young prospects really talented young prospects a lot of assets to work with and they have a bunch of cap space as well so taking on miller's salary won't be a problem at all for them so i think the new york rangers are definitely a team that makes a lot of sense 
Next, we have the Boston Bruins. And it really feels like any big trade target out there, the Bruins are automatically being connected to. I think that's because everybody knows that the Bruins aren't good enough to actually contend in their current state. They're a good hockey team right now. They're a playoff hockey team right now, but I don't see them as a true cup contender. There are still missing pieces there. And JT Miller is definitely a guy that would fill in one of those missing pieces in a big, big way. Boston needs a second line center. A lot's made about Miller's ability to play center or wing and his overall versatility in the lineup. Uh, he's playing the, in the, down the middle. He's playing center if he ends up as a Boston Bruin because they are desperately looking for a 2C behind Patrice Bergeron. Um, Eric Hall has played there this year. Charlie Coyle's played there this year. Both of those guys, I think, are better suited as third liners. Boston doesn't have a true second line center. J.T. Miller would immediately fill that hole for the Bruins. Also, their window is closing. I mean, Patrice Bergeron is in his late 30s now. Brad Marchand's getting up into his mid-30s now. Those two guys are not going to be around forever, and they're not going to be elite players forever. So the time is now, if you're the Boston Bruins and you're trying to make one more cup run with this group, you've got to do it now. This window is closing fast. So go out there, acquire a big-time player like Miller, bring him in for a short amount of time, and try and go and get that cup. Try and make yourself a true contender. They've got to go out there and make some moves. Otherwise, they're going to waste what little time they have left to actually contend for a Stanley Cup. And finally, JT Miller fits the Bruins' style and mentality to a T. He is a very hardworking player. He's a high-energy player. He can be physical when he needs to be, although that's not you know, the best part of his game, but he can be physical when he needs to be. He just really fits that Bruin style of play. I think he'd be a great fit in Boston. He'd go really well in that locker room. And uh, his play on the ice would be a fantastic upgrade to the Bruins' top six, no doubt about it. And I think Boston would be another place where he would fit really, really well. Next on the list, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs. Toronto is another team that is just getting connected to almost every big name potential trade out there like Jacob Chikrin, JT Miller, all of these guys. Toronto is getting connected to them. And again, I think it's because Toronto is at a point right now where they need to win in the playoffs. They need to make some sort of run. I mean, after years and years of losing in the first round, they're, they're, that's not good enough. They've got to take that next step. And JT Miller could be a guy that could really help them take that next step. He would absolutely provide some additional scoring for the Maple Leafs and take some pressure off of their big four. Right now, Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, John Tavares, and William Nylander, all the pressure is on them. Those are their big four forwards that really do a large majority of the scoring for the Maple Leafs. And there's a ton of pressure on those four right now. Adding a guy like JT Miller to their top six would absolutely take some pressure off and just bring them another high-end offensive player who could really help out in putting the puck in the net and maybe get them over that hump in the postseason. He's also a high-energy, hard-working player. And Toronto has made a concerted effort over the past couple of years to bring in those kinds of guys. Um, you know, I think they, they figured out that just being skilled isn't going to get you anywhere in the postseason. You have to have the, the heart and soul guys. You have to have the grit guys. We've seen them bring in Kyle Clifford. We've seen them bring in Wayne Simmons. Now, J, JT Miller isn't a fighter or anything like that, but he's a hardworking guy. And he's, he's always giving 110% on the ice. And he adds a lot of offensive upside as well. So having that kind of offensive upside in a heart and soul type player and a really hardworking player who never takes a shift off is really the kind of thing that the Maple Leafs have been looking to add over the past couple of seasons. And he also brings a bunch of playoff experience. I mean, he's played 78 career playoff games. 
JT Miller has been around. Even though he's only 28 years old, he's played on some good teams. He's played in the playoffs. And for a team like Toronto, they want as much experience in their lineup as possible because they are trying so desperately to get over this hump and uh, and finally win a playoff series and finally make a run in the postseason. JT Miller would absolutely help them do that. Next on the list here, we've got the Minnesota Wild. So Minnesota is a team that I think would be one of the most benefited from an addition like JT Miller because he is a huge talent addition for the Wild. Minnesota is not an overly talented team. And that's not to take anything away from the Wild, how good they are, or what they're, they've been able to do this year because they're a very, very good hockey team. But Minnesota wins in a different way. Minnesota wins by rolling four lines, three D pairs. Everybody contributes and everybody chips in for the Minnesota Wild. And that kind of covers for the fact that they don't have as much high, high end talent as some other teams around the league. Obviously, other than Kirill Kaprizov, who's just otherworldly, but. They don't have a lot of that super high-end talent. Now, they make up for it with their hardworking style of play and their their ability to get contributions from everybody, but JT Miller would be a huge talent addition in the top six for the Minnesota Wild. They're also a team that's looking to make a run. Minnesota's having a very strong year this year. They made the playoffs last year, lost in a very hard-fought seven-game series in the first round. Now this year, they're looking to take that next step. First round isn't good enough for the Minnesota Wild this year. They want to take that next step. They want to make a real run. Well, adding a great player to your lineup like JT Miller is definitely going to improve your chances of making a run. So big upgrade there. He also upgrades the depth and versatility of the Minnesota Wild forward group. Obviously, you add in a top six guy that pushes everybody below him down a spot, and it just overall upgrades the depth of the Wild forward group. And also, his versatility is big because Minnesota isn't exactly loaded with talent at the center position. So he can go there, and honestly, he'd probably be their most talented center in the lineup. Now, they have some guys that I really like playing down the middle. Ryan Hartman is kind of transitioned to being a full-time center this year. Joel Erickson Eck, I absolutely love. But again, not the most talented players. More of like a gritty, hard-working style players who chip in offensively through that grit and going to the net and stuff like that. JT Miller would be a big-time talent down the middle for the Minnesota Wild that they don't really have right now, and that would be huge for this team. And the Wild are also a team that like to move guys around, and you know some guys can play. They like versatile guys that can play center and wing, and uh, Miller is definitely one of those guys. So I think the fit is definitely there. And finally, the fifth team, last one on my list here, and one that's not really being talked about. I haven't seen any articles or anything that list the Nashville Predators as a team that would be in on JT Miller, but I really think that this would make a lot of sense. I mean, Nashville's having a very strong year this year. They're fighting right with the other top teams in the Central Division, trying to, you know, get that playoff seed and get that playoff position. And they made the playoffs last year, had a you know tough first round series against Carolina. They're going to make the playoffs, it looks like, again this year. Why not? I think JT Miller going to Nashville would be a huge, huge addition for the Predators. Definitely an offensive upgrade. Um, you know, this is a team that's actually having a pretty good year offensively. But if you add JT Miller to that top six... I mean, talk about uh, another just massive boost there. Nashville could be a really, really dangerous team. Also, the versatility. No, we've talked about that a lot in this video, but Nashville's another one of those teams that love to move guys around and love to, you know, have guys that play center or wing. We see it with Granlin. We see it with Duchesne. Johansson. I mean, they love these guys that they can kind of tinker around with the line combinations and can move to different spots. JT Miller fits that perfectly. He can play down the middle, 
If you want to move somebody to the wing, he can play in the center. If you want to move somebody to the middle or have, you know, keep uh, Duchesne in the middle, keep Johansson in the middle, you can have him play the wing. There's just so many different possibilities from a lineup standpoint with JT Miller. Fits Nashville's style really well. And also, he brings that experience. Like we talked about with the Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, he's got 78 career playoff games. He brings that experience to a team that is looking to take the next step. Nashville has been you know, an early exit in the playoffs the last couple of years. They're trying to take that next step. The more experience you have in the lineup, the better offense you have, the better, you know, the better players you have in your lineup is going to overall make you a better team. And that'd be a big upgrade for the Nashville Predators, in my opinion. So I think that while they're a team that's not really getting talked about a lot with regards to JT Miller, I do think would make a lot of sense and the fit is there. Anyway, guys, there you have it. Those are five possible destinations for JT Miller if he is traded before the trade deadline this year. Now, again, we don't know if, if Miller's even going to be traded. There's you know, a lot of talks that Vancouver might just want to keep him. He does have next year still on his contract, but we're going to have to wait and see how Vancouver does over these next few weeks. You know, Do they keep themselves in the playoff race in the West? If so, they probably don't get rid of Miller, but if they do end up dropping down, falling out of contention, then I think there's a much higher chance that he does get moved. And he certainly would return quite a bit for the Vancouver Canucks, who need to move some money out and would definitely love the return of some prospects or really high draft picks potentially coming up in the draft. So we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Those are certainly not the only five teams. I think almost any team in the playoffs would be interested in adding Miller. But those are five that stood out to me that I really think would be good fits, make a lot of sense, and could realistically happen. But with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, links to our merchandise store, membership, and donation links are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.